I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today in What's in the Box, we've got lots of boxes. In fact, it sort of came in one big box, so we'll skip that one. Let's get into it. Let's look on these other boxes here, starting with the smallest unit. Kind of curious what this one is. Uh, it just once again identifies it as the Sonar Battery 9.53 Accessories Kit, so for Australia. So let's have a look inside here. We've got some detailed instructions about the labelling requirements for Australian standards. I'm really impressed the way Sonon uh, understand the Australian and New Zealand wiring rules and our installation standards for batteries and solar and get all the signage organised for you, so that's great. We've got our operating instructions in here, so quite a substantial publication. Um, nice one with pictures, uh, quite a lot of detail. Then we've got some uh, technical uh, documents for things like the connectors and how to wire them up. We've got a whole labelling kit. <laughs> I mean, there that's going to save you a bit of money straight away with all the relevant signs required. So we've got some interconnectors for our battery modules because we've got two battery modules here. And no doubt we'll be interconnecting them with these. A breaker. We've got some Sunclix connectors as well. Some earth cable and clips. More earth cable and some metal knockout blanks uh, and collars. And here we've got some CTs. Now, straight away, I. I'm realizing that this is one of the benefits of having um, solar and batteries is your ability to self-use your energy and not export it to the grid and let your batteries be charged with renewable energy first and to supply the loads with solar first then batteries. To do that you need to be able to measure energy flow between the connection to the grid and the installation and so these are CTs for this system. So it's a single phase inverter and there are three CTs. So I'm just guessing that these could be for generation um, load uh, and renewables, but, and sorry, and grid. So for generation uh, for the loads and grid, or they may be for a three phase installation. We'll find out in a bit. And it's connected via, it looks like an RJ12 um, connector. Uh, or RJ14, one of the two, uh, so it makes it rather easy to, to connect it up to the communication module. Here we've got the power meter. So the power meter is, I'm going to need my knife for this one. The power meter is already installed uh, in the protect box I saw, but I'm guessing this is if you're doing your own uh, installation independently of the um, the Sonon Protect Plus, and so this is an energy meter. The energy meter is where the CTs connect. It's also got um, ports for connecting um, communication, and so uh, here there's a couple of ports as well, and there's some indicators on the front for L1, L2, L3. So that's pretty much telling me that these must be for the, the three phases uh, that you might be connecting to even if it's a single phase installation. So that's a three phase power meter. And we've got an extender here for extending the cable, for joining it to a longer piece of cable. And, oh, we've got another three. So, presumably we've got both um, generation uh, and grid sources here. So, we've got two lots of CTs. Here we go, two lots of CTs to monitor everything, both the generation and the consumption. All right. So I'm imagining this big box is the main event, the, uh, the inverter and the cabinet. So let's have a look. So the instructions show to remove these blanks, which stop the cover coming off. And 
And we have a lovely template here. So no doubt mounting this on a wall allows us to position it precisely and drill any holes or find out where studs are or any other supporting points that we need to using a template. So that's a great idea. I love it when they provide templates. Wow. And for expandability as well, depending on how tall we want this to be. And this is our Sonnen, our Sonnen Battery 9.53. Very simple, beautiful exterior, um, powder coated steel, uh, feels very solid. Ventilation on the side and some connection points above for our um, for our solar and uh, DC, no doubt. Let's have a look at the battery modules. So inside the box, we've got a, a comms cable here, which no doubt is for the battery modules communicating with the battery management system. And here is our battery module. Uh, so this is the Sonnen 2500 uh, LFP2 with connections on the front, which we've got uh, interconnecting cables for. Uh, it's also got power, um, link, controller, RS-232, and some status indicator lights as well as an earth lug on the end here. Um, this unit wheels about 20 to 30 kilos, probably about 30 kilos. Uh, and there's another one in this box here. So we're going to install these in the lab and test the whole system out. So here we have the Sonnen Protect Plus. This unit uh, gives you the ability to have backup with the Sonnen battery. So this unit, the Sonnen battery 9.53, can be used as a solar inverter with battery and backup. So let's have a look inside here. Wow, a pre-built metal enclosure. It's a pretty nice looking unit. It's fully labeled. Wow, this is really gonna speed up the process of installing this unit. So let's have a look at this. And you'll notice that it's got the correct ES label with the UN number for the chemistry. So. The ES label is a requirement in ASNZS5139. It actually says 100 millimeters in diameter. That's 100. The PV label only has to be 70. So good to see them using the right labeling size. And inside here, wow, we've got the rest of our labeling kit uh, already stuck on the inside of the unit and some cables, which we'll explore when we do the installation. Uh, so there's our AC cable. We've got installation instructions. We've got some DC connectors, some earth conductors, um, earthing cables, I should say, uh, some blanks and uh, what looks like PV uh, connectors as well in this box here. And here is a pre-built uh, wiring enclosure ready for us to install the backup circuits. Great idea, really nice looking piece of kit here. So plenty of room here for expansion. If we wanna put some load circuits or, uh, or, or sub circuits into a group here, these are already pre-labeled for us with all the different supplies, both solar, grid, backup, and BIS. We've got an energy meter, and uh, we've also got some uh, what could be controls here as well. So we'll learn more about this in the installation part of this video. So that's the Sonnen Protect pre-built wiring enclosure. And I'm looking at this, it must be at least IP66, water sealed, um, and with a tool to close it up too. Great. Wow, well, that was lots of boxes. It was a lot of fun, but now it's time to install the unit. So the link up here will take you to the installation video where we put it through its paces and really get to know the product.
Thanks, Sonnen, for sending this to the Smart Energy Lab.